I am Assistant Professor Milagro Singoni from the Design School at Arizona State University. Interplay is a design build studio done by interior design students in their last semester of their undergrad. We have 37 students uh, working in six different installations that they all relate in one way or another one with uh, play. This project is funded by Mesa Art Center through a grant that they got from the National Endowment for the Arts for the Prototyping Festival 2.0. Hi, I'm Maria Del Soda. I'm Ben Ayers, and we are teaching uh, the INT 465 this year. The interesting part of it, and what was different for these students, is that we were asking them to design and build this installation in six weeks, which was kind of uh, completely new. They've never had that type of uh, time frame. Um, but seeing this as an opportunity to kind of create an environment that was almost like a real office where oftentimes we can't control schedule, we can't control the, the costs uh, and things like that, it was a really good opportunity for the students to learn that. And so we kind of jumped on board and saw that as a real fun thing for the students to do. Yeah, it also gave them the opportunity to figure out joinery and construction methods um, as their senior students going into the workforce. Um, it'll give them the leg to stand on when they get into the real world work on projects and talk to contractors and subcontractors about how they want to see their design come to life. So yeah, all the students were uh, given kind of responsibilities to do within a team that they could put towards their design and we gave them three weeks to design the installation and then three weeks to get in the shop and actually learn how to use all of the tools, all of the techniques and actually construct it and put it out on the site. Yeah, so within those six weeks they constructed everything on site here at ASU in the shop. Uh, it got deconstructed, we transported everything to site at Mesa, and then um, reconstructed on build day uh, for it to sit there for two months, sitting at Mesa, yep. for the kids to play on. Hi, we're group Shift Play, and our project is about how a multitude of perspectives come together to form a community. And we really focused in on Mesa um, because that's who our client was. It was really interesting playing with the graphic when we created it and how as you moved around the structure and your, the, as your perspective changed, the, the graphic also changed. The major challenge that we had with this project was that when we initially built it and designed it, the profile was too thin and so it was really unstable and the structure moved really easily and so we had to add in some headers and that helped to stabilize the structure as a whole. Everybody. We are built to play and our inspiration derives from the idea that it's in human nature to be curious and especially in children it's an appetite for knowledge. So here on our right side of our installation we have these steps that children can choose to crawl or climb on and then reaching up to a platform where children can overlook and see things and explore the idea of playing collaboratively on these steps and on this platform. And then on the left side we have more independent play where children can crawl through the tunnel, play hide and seek, um, choose to climb up the two by four slats. So overall this piece is a piece that involves children and exploring different ways of playing together and independently. One of the biggest challenges we have found while building this uh, enormous piece was that the weight of it was just so heavy that putting it together was almost an exercise in itself and um, some of the wood was twisting so making sure all the pieces fit is, was something that was the biggest challenge for us. Hi, we are Interplay Project Management Team. Our group made the Project Information Display Bench, Video and Booklet for the whole class.
When people think about playground or play installations, they usually think about dynamic activities. For our group, we think the static interaction can be also interesting and unique. By playing with the positive and negative space, we hope visitors can observe, think, and interact with our installation. Hello everybody, we're Interconnect Play. We were very inspired by nature, so we came up with the concept of symbiosis, which means an interaction between two organisms with the advantage of both. So to put that in that definition into context, we decided to interact with our surroundings without constraining ourselves into one part in order to interconnect to be one entire piece. Our process was kind of different from everybody else. Uh, everything was kind of like in trial and error mode because not everything had to be very specific to, so that was our challenge, kind of like make everything fit together in a very small scale. Hi, we're Domus Play. Domus means home. Domus Play provides a recognizable environment for the neighborhood to play, connect, discover, that encapsulates familiarity. Our Domus is filled with color, sound, and plenty of activity to stimulate its inhabitants. Domus is your home in the neighborhood. Even though our structure remained simple in order to focus on our complex panel elements, the joinery had to be extremely precise, which gave us some difficulty. Our wander play and our project is a series of structures going from the hustle and bustle of the city to finding your solace in the desert. So each structure has um, a different instrument that's attached on the inside and then each instrument gets increasingly softer as you move through and once you get to the end you find your spot um, where there's no sound and you just see a visual and that is your space of peace. So one of the main challenges that we faced was making sure the structures were going to be able to stand up and be efficient. So we had to do lots of iterations, figuring out joints and joinery, but once we did, our project was able to be sturdy and really successful. And I hope that they will continue to carry out these uh, learning outcomes that they are not only hard skills, but also all the soft skills, right? The uh, time management, uh, learning to collaborate with others, learning to um, comply with the regulations and expectations of the city, uh, following up after the installation was placed in the site for the following two months, doing post-occupation evaluation, working in the representation of their stories by their booklets and uh, even this video that is done by one of the students. I think that is pretty remarkable.